And I think these guys are such cares. Anyway, so then you got the deal bit, and you're going to put that in Keystone XL, and you're going to put it in, and, and by the way, these aren't one or the other. And by the way, it's not one or the other or pipelines versus rail. You start looking at the project they have in their, in their minds right now, it's every single one of the pipelines I've mentioned plus rail. You start adding it up what they need to move the bitumen out of northern Alberta. So, without processing it there which is a key part of the current plan. Get as much as you can, triple the levels of production. That's what Stephen Harper has said they want to do. They want to go to six million barrels of oil a day by 2035 and ship it all out for processing somewhere else. So back to, oh, I have one of the Dillamont story I wanted to mention. Um, when the five train cars were hanging over the Bow River during the Calgary floods, and everybody covered the fact that they're loaded with hazardous material. And poor Nye Benchy, and, and I mean, that was a, he just thought, I, I talked to him, I, he, he's, I think he's Canada's best man. But maybe he did better ones somewhere, we sure know where there were ones. But anyway, he, he, he was just going to get a break, right? And he was maybe going to have a nap because he'd been going for days and days and days. And then suddenly there's Train cars on a bridge that's collapsing over the Bow River, loaded with hazardous material. It was diluent. It was diluent on rail being shipped to northern Alberta to stir in with the bitumen so that it would flow. Okay, so back to what we would do if we were planning a decent energy policy. A decent, a national energy strategy for Canada would start with, I believe, value-added jobs. So let's not ship out raw product. 